Hi, this is DIY Manual. Today I'm gonna go through the installation and setup of uh, Google Voice in um, Polycom OB200. This is a one port voice over IP uh, adapter that you can use with your Google Voice so that you can get a free home phone service. So if you look in the back, you'll see that there is an internet port, the blue one. And this is your phone jack. So I just opened this box. So I'm going to be installing this for the first time. Um, I've read a lot of reviews in Amazon. It's a lot of good reviews about it. But uh, the most recent reviews are mixed. Uh, a lot of people are saying that uh, since Polycom bought Obi, and uh, since the last update from Google Voice that uh, they could not get it to work anymore. So they said that the instruction doesn't work. So I'm going to try to go and install this using the instruction provided. And if there's any problem with the instruction, then I'll go with uh, the changes I made also. Uh, if you can see, the instructions are very simple. Um, basically here it just it just tells you what you need you need a polycom device which is this um, the ethernet cable and the power adapter and also you need the, your phone and then on the installation the first step basically just tells you to uh, plug it in plug it into your router and then to your phone and then to the power so let's uh, do that part now Okay, I have a Ethernet uh, port in my wall, so I'm just going to use that. Now I'm going to put in, to plug in the Internet to the Ethernet port into the wall. Now I'm going to use the phone. into my uh, telephone. Base ringer is off. Base ringer is off. Base ringer is off. So I plug this in to my telephone and then this is to the wall. Okay, so next will be to plug in the OBI or the Polycom. into the power outlet now you have to wait until everything becomes a uh, solid green so it says here that uh, when the power when the power light is uh, flashing green the OBI is looking for DHCP IP address so it's still probably uh, setting up right now and the uh, flashing green for the um, internet or data connection uh, it says that there's a data activity in the internet ether, um, ethernet port so let's try to do the test call it says you need to dial uh, star star 9 followed by 222 222 222 and let's see if we can make a test call to the Obitox system. Okay, so after resetting, it's still the same, it's still showing uh, off, that means uh, OBI is not enabled. Um, we're expecting this to be green, um, not really sure what's going on here. 
but let's go and proceed to step four basically go to obitalk.com and uh, register the uh, register for our polytalk obitalk account and uh, let's see if that will um, make this thing um, available after that so let's give that a try okay so the test call did not work and the phone LED icon continues to be off so according to the manual when it's off that means the OB is not enabled but let's see um, I'll go to uh, the next step which is signing up with an account at obitalk.com we'll see if this will help fix that issue um, Maybe I'll use my Google account that I want to use for the phone number. Click yes to add your OB device to Obitalk dashboard. After adding your device, you'll be able to set up voice services and other configuration option. Okay, say yes. Um, I have the OB200. If you have an OB port, connect the telephone to. Okay. Power up the OB device, and then I want to configure Google Voice on this device. Okay. Please pick up the telephone handset and dial star star five nine zero one eight. It says to dial star star five star star five nine zero one eight. The number you dialed star star five nine zero one eight has been sent to the server. Okay. So right now it's trying to connect to my device. Let's see if that will go through. It looks like my phone failed to connect my device to my account. So it says to go through the process again. Okay, so I tried following the manual and it didn't work. Um, I contacted the OB customer support. I was told by the support person that they have an issue with the server uh, dialing the uh, star star 9 and the star star 5 to um, include the or to activate your OB device into their uh, website. Uh, he said you can just keep trying it. Uh, usually they said that uh, if you do it at night you have more success but if you do it during the day um, since there's a lot more people trying to um, update their device or add their device into the network that they are having a lot of issue right now so they according to him they're trying to do an update but uh, he said that if I update my firmware that it should have a better chance of being able to add so he gave me a link um, I'm gonna share this link to this video um, link for manual uh, firmware update and uh, some more instruction so I'm gonna do the manual firmware update right now so let me download the OB2 this is OB2 OB300 series which is this um, I've already downloaded that. Uh, downloads. The FW. Okay, and then according to this instruction, download the link, uh, the firmware, then access the web page of the OB device. 
okay so from a phone attached uh, from the phone attached to the OB I have to dial star 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 one and when I dial that it gave me the um, IP address so let me do that again star 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 one basic network status your IP address is one Your DHC key is enabled. Press zero to repeat this information. Okay, I'll go to my browser and type in the IP address that was announced from my phone. Right now, the username and password is admin. That's the uh, default given by the manufacturer. And from here, you want to go to System Management and Update, Device Firmware Update, and click on um, Choose File. Then select the file that you just downloaded. Click Update. Once you do this, it will reboot your device. Okay, so after I did the firmware update, um, I just refreshed the website. And now let's try to do the uh, star star nine, then two, 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 two. Cool, it looks like I was able to get it to work after do the after doing the final or the firmware update. Okay, so we were able to update the firmware manually and after that I did a test call and test call works. The um, LED phone it the phone LED light still is still off but I was able to do a test call so I'm just gonna go ahead and go to obitalk.com and set up the account register so I'm gonna use the Google account that I have Click yes to add your OB device to OBITALK dashboard. After adding your device, you'll be able to set up the voice services. Say yes. Okay. It says connect the telephone. Connect the OB device. Okay, say yes. Okay, so now let's try to dial the star star 5 one, two, two, four again. Okay, so this is on their support page um, for not able to add OB devices using the star star 5 method. Um, you can see that they acknowledge that there is an issue on their end and that we just have to keep trying. As you can see, the phone LED light is now solid green. The phone LED light did not turn on until I successfully added the Polycom OB200 device into my OBITALK account. So the manual is not really clear about this. So at first you're going to see the light and the or the power on solid and the data to be blinking. When you have that you want to test using the, the star star 9 number to make sure you can call. Then after that just keep trying 
uh, to dial the uh, star star 5 number. So I've done it a couple of times. I was able to successfully add after 3 p.m. So the support person that I spoke with uh, is correct uh, that uh, after 3 p.m. I should be able to get in because there's less people um, trying to set up there. So let's see. Now I'm going to try to call um, my cell phone using this Obi Talk device. Okay. Hello. Hello. Okay. So I'm getting I'm getting a feedback because um, I have the speakerphone on, but um, we know that it's working now. So let me try to see if I can call my Google Voice number. ringing now very good and I just uh, forgot about this I have like a uh, two extension and they're both working so um, I can also use this to call my Google voice number There you go. It's working. Hello? Okay. Now let me try to call from here, calling my Google Voice number again. So both phones are ringing. Cool.